DARPA's Squad X experimentation program aims to demonstrate a warfighting force with artificial intelligence as a true partner. In a recent field test, the program worked with U.S. Marines at the Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center in 29 Palms, California, to track progress on two complementary systems that allow dismounted squads to collaborate with AI and autonomous systems to make better decisions in complex, time-critical combat situations. We have the opportunity to demonstrate uh, operationalizing autonomy in a way that uh, we don't believe any nation in the world has demonstrated to date meaning not just develop hardware, but rather develop the hardware and the tactics that allow this to operate seamlessly within the close combat ground environment is extremely challenging, but provides incredible value. The exercises in early 2019 in 29 Palms followed experiments in 2018 with Khaki's beam system and Lockheed Martin's assault system. The two systems, though discreet, focus on man-unmanned teaming to enhance capabilities for ground units, giving small squads battalion-level insights and intelligence. In the most recent experiment, squads testing the Lockheed Martin system wore vests fitted with tracking and calibration sensors and moved through scenarios in an open area and mock city blocks. Autonomous ground and aerial systems equipped with electronic surveillance tools, ground radar, and a camera provided reconnaissance of areas ahead of the unit as well as flank security, surveying the perimeter and reporting to squad members handheld Android Tactical Assault Kits, or ATACs. Within a few screen tabs, squad members accessed options to act on the system's findings or adjust the search area. Between Lockheed Martin's two experiments, the program performer team identified a steady evolution of tactics made possible with the addition of an autonomous squad member. They also are focused on ensuring the ground, air, and cyber assets are always exploring and making the most of the current situation, exhibiting the same bias toward action required of the Marines and soldiers they support in the field. Khaki's beam system comprises a network of nodes. In the team's third experiment, the Supernode, a sensor-laden Polaris autonomous ground vehicle known as the quarterback of the beam system, communicated with backpack nodes distributed around the battle space, mimicking the placement of dismounted squad members and an airborne beam on a Puma autonomous aircraft. The network provides situational awareness, detects electronic warfare and electronic attack, and collaborates to geolocate items of interest. AI synthesizes the information, eliminating the noise before providing the information to the squad members via the handheld ATAC. Human is, of course, involved with any uh, lethal action, but at this point, it's really just about establishing superior situational awareness. So the keys are providing enough inputs to this overall decision engine and then the artificial intelligence to make sense of this, and then the ability to go do something about it at very fast timescales through this shared understanding. The Squad X program has moved quickly through development and is already well along the transition path, due in large part to the program's focus on partnering with the services to ensure real-world efficacy. For the Khaki system, that included an opportunity to test the technology downrange to get real-world information, not simulation. Soldiers use the system to locate and identify objectives in real time. For both systems, feedback has included a desire for a user interface so intuitive that training takes an hour or less, and any available action is accessible in two button presses. So the feedback process, in conjunction with the actual experimentation, gives the Marines the ability to actually use the technology and start seeing what it can do, and what, more specifically for what they're, we're looking at is what it can't do, but what we need it to do. The Marine Corps group working with DARPA says the ability to provide early input will guard against developing a product that either isn't used or is used improperly. With the conclusion of the third experiment, the Khaki system is moving into phase two, which includes an updated system that can remain continuously operational for five or more hours. Lockheed Martin will conduct its next experiment in the fall of 2019. Khaki's beam system is already operational, and the Army has committed to continue its development at the completion of Squad X Phase 2. 
The Army is set to begin concurrent development of the Lockheed Martin assault system in fiscal years 2019 and 2020, and then independent of DARPA in fiscal year 2021.